Hi, I'm Donald. I'm currently a research assistant in uh, NUS School of Medicine and I'm also a part-time PhD student that working on uh, dengue viruses. I'm a volunteer with uh, SG Healthcare Corps. I decided to volunteer despite of um, not having any family members in Singapore because um, several reasons. I think first reason is for the greater good. Diagnostics um, can help to flatten out the curve during the early curve of pandemics. Another reason that I think is uh, because uh, the skills and expertise that we learn in school uh, or in the lab uh, can fit into what, what they are looking for also. So we could be a great help in the uh, hospital diagnostic lab. Yeah. Uh, I was recruited and posted in uh, Ng Ting Fong General Hospital. So my main job is to receive the samples when those uh, COVID-19 swabs were sent in from dormitory and I will check through all those swab samples and make sure that uh, they are properly sealed, there's no leaking and then if everything is okay, I will help them to do registrations basically to key in all those uh, samples IDs and uh, their patients names and all those um, identifiers. Uh, once I sort out the samples, then I will send it to the lab technicians and they will do the extractions and analysis. I'm Madhushani. I work at uh, the National University of Singapore. I volunteered in the same team as Donald. So we will receive the samples from Donald, the swabs, and then as a lab technologist, we work in the lab. We take the uh, samples to the allocated cabinet and then we will extract the RNA from the samples. Then we would further process it so that we can amplify the signals and then go on with the testing to make, to make sure and identify the positive and the negative samples. Volunteering with the SG Healthcare Corps was a new experience for all of us, especially because we are not used to seeing people wearing the full PPE and 95 masks in that kind of environment. For us, we did shift work during our volunteering time. Each shift was about nine hours. At first, it was difficult to adapt to the night shifts because we are not used to working at that kind of timings and especially at late night. But once after the first or second time, we got used to it, especially because we got the rest day for the next day so we could sleep in and then adapt to, back to the timing again. My family members actually are quite uh, concerned about uh, volunteering in hospitals, especially my mom uh, was freaked out. I told her that uh, this is uh, a good opportunity and this is the right thing to do to serve the communities, uh, to help out uh, others yeah, during this difficult time. They are eventually convinced on what I, uh, what I told them. Yeah. I just explained to them, you know, same thing because I have been studying about this and then my usual day-to-day -day work also involves the same techniques that they use. So why not I just make use of this opportunity to give back to Singapore as well, since I've been living here for so long, and then uh, basically do my part. I don't feel that I'm, I'm unique or I'm special as compared to them. I'm just uh, part of communities. I'm just trying to do what I can do.